welcome back to Craft Adia Season 5 with me, Pintaro. Don't mind me, I was just cutting down some trees just for some money and a little bit of forestry XP. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Or is it just called wooded cutting XP? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, forestry XP. But as you can see, I'm level 25 now, which now gives me the passive ability to break leaves with an axe for a chance to earn gold food. So now I can earn some golden carrots, golden apples, all the tasty num num gold stuff. Yeah. And then in today's episode, I'm going to need to go and collect a little bit of stuff so that I can get to building my first actual build and where I'm going to live for a little bit. Oh, I'm getting a TP request. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> but yeah. And then so the land that I plan to build is right here. So as I said last episode, I'm going to be building a little bit higher up from where I usually am, which is going to be along this stone block thing that I placed. And I'm going to have to get rid of this building. But before all that, I do need to go out and get some resources and it's starting to rain again. But yeah, I need to get resources for the building. I've got a little bit of resources so far. There's nothing in here. Can I not click on it? Yeah, there's nothing in there yet. I think I was trying to ride the horse. But I'm going to be excited for my first build. Also, I found a little something that might be cheaty, but I'm not sure. So see how I'm hungry. I'll also take some damage as well. Anything in space yet? Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Taking a little bit of damage. The sneaky thing I found is that if I go to just go to spawn, notice my HP and my food is now full. I don't know if this is a bug, but you pretty much don't need food anymore if you just want to quickly teleport to spawn and then go to your bed, which my bed is now occupied. Finding all the little bugs. <laughs> and over here I've built a wall and I'm starting to do a little bit of villager setup. I'm a little villager setup, I've just put in a bunch of beds and I've just been jumping up here throwing in some carrots and hoping for the best. And then I will get a boat and then just drive on in. And I pick up a villager, swing right back around and go on out. And then I drop them off into their little chambers over here. So the villagers I have set so far, we got this guy, which is Sweeping Edge 3. Pretty good early game, must say. <laughs> and then this guy here is just so I can get bookshelves. And then I don't yet know what I'm going to be placing in the rest of the places, but that's something to do much later. I've also added a, a, another mod where I can actually turn off my armor. So I can turn it on, turn it off. So I'm going to be using this mod for a bit just because I really like not wearing armor, but I like also being very protected. <laughs> Hopefully the server doesn't have any rules against this type of mod. I like to be able to see myself instead of being all like covered and being all funky and weird. I see you. <laughs> There's a party in the house. <laughs> So one of the first materials I'm going to need is bamboo, and I don't know why there's an iron golem in here. I hope he's not going to be a problem. So let's just get some bamboo, and oh, does that sound interesting. And then I've got my bamboo, so I want to make the bamboo planks. No, I need to go nine. Is that right? Block of bamboo. Okay, cool. And then we change the block of bamboo to bamboo planks and add it to the chest. That's checked off the list. Now I'm going to work on getting the rest of the stuff. montage going and let's throw it into a time lapse. been busy. As you can see behind me, I've built my observatory. It is very fancy. Couldn't really figure out a design for the uh, telescope, so I kind of went for bamboo, and I think it looks alright. 
The rest of the build looks fairly plain, but pretty enjoyable, I must say. The windows have a nice green that make them pop. So I've also got this tree over here. So I didn't know what to do with the mangrove leaves, so I kind of just made like a small little tree here. It's a dead tree, but it looks good. I might pop in some uh, big custom trees that look dead. I'll see how I go. Hey, welcome to my crib. Would you like a tour? Come with me. <laughs> as we enter for the tour, as you can see, we've got a veggie garden right here. And I'm going to be throwing more of an awning over here. I don't know why I covered it, but it gives more of like a gardeny type of feel. We've got the storage room. I've put some signs up which tell me like dirt and mud, which is this pile is going to be dirt and mud. And so on and so forth with gravel, sand, dyes, concrete, terracotta, nether, goodies, utilities, vegetation, and wood. Yeah, and that's how I'm going to have that all set up. And over here, I got thrown a little bit of the uh, custom vegetables in here. I was thinking about having some salsa, but turns out salsa is just bread. And the blueberries, as you can see under where it says uncommon, it's bread. So to save yourself on a couple things, just eat blueberries. <laughs> so something I found out that's really cool you can do, bed. <laughs> so I've just put some signs down and uh, I got some funky shape looking block things. And I'm pretty sure I got them from like... I can't remember where I got them from, but I'm pretty sure you just look online of like emoji symbol things, Minecraft sign, that should work. Yeah, so this is my bedroom. It's kind of empty, but I got some hanging signs again, because they're fun. More campfires. Got a little drink station. Got some bookshelves, and I've also got some armor on top of the bookshelves too. And my bed. And I kind of want to have the armor represent like, kind of like astronaut's armor. Astronauts go to space. And astronaut's armor is white and... They go to space and I'm viewing space because you know the goal, we're gonna go up into space eventually. So these item frames here, I put them here for more of a, an homage to the items that I started with for the beginning of the season. Because as you can see in my inventory, I may have gotten more Valentine stuff. I'm not addicted, you're addicted. And with the help of not Seth, I end up getting the, the leggings and the helmet. It turns out the helmet is actually a uh, cosmetic. So if I type in hats, and go sorting. These are all the hats I own. Right here, Cupid helmet. Don't I look so pretty? It's pretty cool to have the hearts and stuff, but yeah, you don't actually need the um the helmet on to get the amazing buffs on the side, which is ridiculous. Absorption two, regeneration two. Don't mind the haste. We'll talk about that later. And another awesome thing too, and after some time when you're running around, you can give a little jump about. It'd be easier if I just read the set bonus. Random speed and regen five. It is insane. You go so fast, it's so good. Also, this is my sword. It's got hearts. It's so cool. I'm really enjoying the Valentine's tools and weapons and stuff. I think the only thing I'm missing is the Valentine's bow, but I'm okay with not having the bow because I've got all the tools, I've got all the armor, and that's all I need. And yeah, to help me get the, the leggings and helmet, I actually traded stuff from my vault. As you can see, I've already taken three things out. So I traded a Halloween bow and also... The bone axe and bone shovel. Yeah, so I traded those for the legs and the helmet. Because I felt really bad if I was just to trade the bow for the armor and the legs. I mean, because look at these. These enchantments, these buffs you could say. Incredible. Like, I'm not going to be doing PvP, but and I'm not going out to do PvP. I don't need any of that. I can survive in the wild forever, pretty much. <laughs> I even tried to see if I could die by drowning and, and, and survive from drowning. There goes the absorption. And another thing I find really funny is with my hearts, it's like, oh no, I want my absorption back. Click, click, absorption's back. So all I do is pick up my armor, drop it back on, and I have full absorption again. It's incredibly broken and really amazing. And if you're trying to use it with PvP, shame on you. But anyways, let's show the rest of the uh, the building. I've also got some vines hanging down. I need to put some uh, bone mill on the glowberries hanging there. It's a little dark here. I don't know what to put here because up here is a fairly big empty space. If you have any ideas, just leave them in the comments. And then up the old stairs. Oh yeah, and as you can see from the time lapse, I didn't have any of the interior done. All the way at the top of the stairs, I've got this thing. So it may look like a little bit of a mess at the moment. This is actually my telescope, which I use to look into the stars. I threw the spyglass here, just cause you grab it. You jump into the minecart and look, you can see into space. If I do this and then zoom, and now it's like I'm actually using the telescope. It's a little hard to get a control of. And then shift our way out. And yeah, this is my observatory. I need to think of what I'm going to be putting here. Like I thought about having like star maps here or something to like, obviously I'm viewing the stars and to have like the constellations all across the board here, maybe put some tables and stuff. I'm thinking the brain is rolling. It's going. 
Oh, another thing I didn't record either is the floor. As you can see, I've thrown in some mud and uh, rooted mud. Is it packed mud? I can't remember. Some pods all, some coarse dirt, some grass, and I've put it all around the base of the building. And I've also done a little mountain top down here. So it sits just over the top of this. And you come on under and you look at the uh, inside of the village. It's uh, a little bit different, but that is okay. Down here, I've got my uh, little snowman as you saw in the uh, gathering montage. Over here, oh, oh, here you go, there you go. Your Valentine's 2024 set bonus is activated. Disable this in slash options. And look how fast they go. No Distractions! I don't know if I've shown off my villages yet, but I needed some carrots, so I got this guy. Got him to master level. These guys here, I was just using to get uh, my emeralds, because, you know, you trade them to get your sticks. Also, I found that was really cool as well. 22 seconds of swiftness. Yeah, that's okay. But one minute of night vision for an arrow? That's pretty incredible, I think. And this guy has a minute of water breathing. I mean, with the armor, I don't really need it, but a minute of water breathing? Breathing. I said breathing. Not breathing. Breathing. And the last dude just silk touch. This is the collection. They can nap, sleep, and play, and live in a glass box forever. And you might have seen this thing floating in the air. If you don't know what it is, this is from the last season. This is my custom-made bee farm. I guess it's a bee farm. Bee farm kind of honey wax farm. If you don't remember, let me refresh. It's time for a little bit of redstone. Starting off at the bottom, obviously you have an item filter, and whenever the item of this hopper here is, drops in, scans across, turns it off. This comparator reads from in here. We'll send a signal across into the piston, pushing the piston up, pushing the observer into the other observer, doing multiple signals into this, and dropping whatever is inside. I love this dropper type of system. Making our way back up, if I can. Most of this water flow will be just be for the glass bottles that flow down, because there's a little floor in the system, but that's fine. That's why there's a lot of water. And the reason why I said the glass bottles are going to flow down, because whenever a bee pops out, of its beehive, the observer will observe that it's happened. As you can see just then, flick a redstone signal and this will automatically try and collect any honey. But obviously if there's no honey in it, it'll just drop a glass bottle. And because we want that empty glass bottle to actually be a honey bottle, that's why it'll flow all around the water, drop into here, go across, into the water, skip right over the item filter, right there, come back around, as you can see right here, and go right back up the water. And it should always flow right back into these hoppers here, as you just saw then. And when this one's full, when that one's full, and whenever these pop out, it'll send the water bottle across. I'm still in the middle of filling up the glass bottles. And these last two, I've put uh, shears inside. So these will be what give me the wax. And I don't think there's any bees left in here. Obviously, there's a little funny thing with Craftadia. Like, you can't have too many mobs in the area. Because if you do, they start to despawn. And I think bees are a limiting factor of, of how many bees you can have in an area. I'm not sure. Because all these five were filled, they're three. So three times five is like 30. It's 15. I can math, I swear. Numbers are hard. Yeah, so there's 15 bees here. And I don't think 15 bees were allowed. So I think there's like two in there, two in there, one in there, one in there. Yeah, so this is my little bee farm. As you can see here, I've already got some uh, end stuff. I can't really remember what it's called. I know they're chorus flowers. Chorus fruit. Ah, yeah, chorus fruit. I don't know if I've shut off my cactus farm. But yeah, it's a cactus farm. What else can I say? You good? Hanging out? Okay. I've thrown myself a nether portal inside this house. Kind of peeking through the sides, but that's fine. As you can see right behind my head. This little pintar got himself a beacon. But I'll show you that in the next episode. So the weekend that this was filmed, there was a double XP weekend for every single skill. And that's the reason why I got myself a beacon really quickly. So I can smash out quickly these logs and how fast I break my trees. As you can see, I've got myself to 44 forestry, which I'm kind of hoping to get to 50, but that'll come in a couple of days. But with that, I think it's going to be the end of the episode. If you've stuck around, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.